You know how I'm going out of my way to censor the high school DXD nipples from showing us so my channel doesn't get clapped? What did Arifuda to do? They just straight up showed us dragon bussy, like the anal sphincters, like the rings and everything, the muscular, like they showed us that all oh, dragon asshole. And clearly that doesn't matter. I can just upload that shit and it's perfectly fine. Sure, whatever, doesn't matter to me. Looks like you guys have been saying like the best girls about to show up. The best girls about to show up. And I kind of see why you would think that she's better than Shea. Now, UA, I just can't put her on like she's a lolly, you know, and Shea is so great, but this new girl, she's a, kind of like that darkness, that M type from Konosuba, right? So I'm sure for the rest of the season and moving forward, we're just going to get so much fan service of her just saying, please fuck me, please fuck me. She's going to be moaning the entire time. I get it, you coomers. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, wow. CGI dragons. CGI orcs. That guy was the one with the weird eyes that was staring at the girl with, with the rest of the other groups. Yeah, that guy was part of our school, right? No. Good. Not my problem. Fuck them. Fuck them, monkeys. Yeah. Do you want to sacrifice your students to save them? Yeah, that's fucked up, teacher. That's fucked up, teacher. I'm being mean to the teacher. It's just that she's so overbearing. So I'm, I'm just teasing her. No, we didn't cut everyone and everything. We have Yue. We have Shea. We have Dragon Girl. What was her name? Tio? Tio? So even if Hajime might commit war crimes in the future, the teacher will have her back? Is that what we're setting up here? I also realize we should shoot that blonde guy again. Fuck that guy. An army led by that kid, the boy with the really weird look in his eyes. Huh. See, he's nice to the teacher sometimes. Where's our dragon girl at? Oh, there she is. <laughs> Get away from me. Get away from me. Competition. Oh, don't give up. Shadu. <laughs> look at those moves, man. You can't really do much, can you? I mean, what's the teacher gonna do? Be careful. Here, let me just fucking throw you out into war. Be careful. I want like a bazooka. An actual cannon. Oh, is this girl... One-on-one -on -one time with Hajime? Is she been crushing on him a bit? Is she gonna say thank you for saving? Say it. Say it. <gasps> you remember my name? I feel like Hajime doesn't even remember or he'll say it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, I remember when everyone betrayed you? You saved me, though. Waste. She's not gonna waste it. Is she gonna have a big moment in this current arc? Uh, sorry, the war coming up? Bye-bye. Oh. Oh, Hajime respects her. I like this girl. She seems like a proper person. You need that last comment there, but yeah, that's that's classic Hajime. Ooh, oh, dragon girl. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna get an actual one-on-one -on -one moment with her. What do you want? You want that bussy penetrated again? What? What do you want? Ignored. Ignored. No. Be gone. He's not saying anything. What's so mean? Are you getting aroused by neglect? The voice acting is amazing here. The voice acting is actually amazing here. Of course, I'm... Like, I already assumed that she joined. That she really likes getting abused. Emphasis on offering body. Piercing just like I pierced my ass last episode. <laughs> Yue and Shea are probably just foaming at their mouth. They're like, this bitch. She is insane. I like her though. Good acid in battle and there's, there's a lot of good assets. Yes, yes, I agree. CGI army versus Hajime and girls. Ooh, they got CGI skeletons now. The goddess of agriculture. Have I been shitting on our teacher too much? The goddess of agriculture? Hold up. We're not gonna send these poor people to fight, right? Like, come on. Ooh, speech time. Yes, I am the main character, don't worry. A goddess. Our teacher? Agriculture? 
豊穣の女神アイコ様だはわれらのためにアイコ様が We're rallying all around the teacher because they know her. So, this would obviously raise morale a little bit more if it's for her. I think that's the idea of the speech. Dude, his voice acting has changed during the speech. Damn. Witness me. It's such a cool line. And Blondie, alright, alright. He'll get his redemption. That ain't no blade. That's a fucking bazooka machine gun gun. I don't know what that is. A sniper. I love how there's no recoil on that thing, bro. He just shoots it like it's a fucking pistol. Ooh. One bullet took up and that. That was pretty cool. Now, what is up with this guy, though? Who is he, really? Why was he a part of our, like, class group? Ah, you ain't got a gun, too? Transform back to Dragon. Oh. No, it's not a proposal. Like, you, you put it on the fucking ring. <laughs> the wrong, the ring finger. That ain't not, that's not the old. Now she's gonna be draining dry tonight, bro. Oh my god. She says Gojujin sama too. Ugh. Oh, you ain't. <laughs> Something about anime girls using like RPGs, guns, and missiles. I'm just so used to different forms of fighting, right? But this is cool. They had no chance from the beginning. Was there a need to even rally this troop with speech? <laughs> okay, she's getting serious. Blame Tempest. In terms of power, she is insane, right? Oh my god, this combo attack. Dude! <laughs> There's no need for the humans to fight! Oh, look at me just casually drop a fucking spirit bomb on him! Remember, Teach, you said that you would love us no matter what. That's a lot of CGI bullets. <laughs> Oh, that's one for us! This is reminding me of, uh, you know, Megumin's village in Konosuba? You know how the wizards are just like, sh they're fucking everyone up with their powers? You're done? Oh shit. Wait, wait, wait. Creepy perv? Maybe true. But she did good though. And she's already sleeping. This girl, man. Reward me. Oh. Oh. All right, here goes Shay with the big bonk. A lightning dragon. Okay. I keep I keep forgetting the fact that Yue has crazy magic like this too. Yes, they're CGI. Big bonk. So basically, the leader is gonna be the guy with the mask on, right? Punk, earthquake, seismic crash. Oh, white. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Have you ever played Lost Ark? There's a class called Gunslinger. Hajime reminds me of a gunslinger right now. Close combat, but with pistols, fighting. Emphasis on movement, on rapid fire. Damn. Even the gorillas are scared of her monstrous power. Oh! Oh my god! Did you see that? I saw that. I still think that Shea is better than Tio. Now, Tio did just join the harem, right? I don't know what she's gonna be like in season two, but Shea, I think she's great. Big bonk. <laughs> More scared of Shea than Hajime. The teacher is shocked because? No. I thought she saw the other kid. Hmm, what's the look? Will the teacher recognize him? She will, right? Who is he? So he is part of her class. By almost destroying their town. You, what, what, what's the idea? Yeah, I, I don't get that part. The 
demons. Okay, wait. So who was backing Shimuzu? Who gave him the powers? A demon. This is leading into some future shit. It's setting stuff up. A demon contract? The sensei? Because she might know. Because she knows the truth. Because Hajime told her the truth. Rumors spread that fast? The demons are 100% backed by the church then. Right? Because why would the demons care? Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. The main character, I'm sorry. The goddess of plenty is like that, huh? She'll still forgive. She's too kind. There might be some truth to that. Maybe he was bullied too. She never gives up on our kids. She is just so kind, so pure. It's, it's crazy how pure she is. But she's a target on her back now by the demons, which I'm going to assume is basically the same thing as the church. Careful. I don't like this when she's touching her. Ah, hey, hey, what did I tell you? This motherfucker, dude. Dude, just kill him right now. We probably have antidotes and shit, right? It should be fine. This is the problem with being too kind. Hajime, end them. Shoot his head. Edgelord. Edgelord. Yeah, you. you. <laughs> Why is there a comical moment right now? He doesn't even care. Maybe he'll just do it then. Fuck it, I don't care. Shit! You shouldn't have jumped. Ah, shit! Did you kind of fuck up there? Okay, we got the shot in. But I feel like she acted a little bit too fast. That was kind of a fuck up, right? And he gets away. Wait, he's getting away? Shimuzu actually got away there? That was so jank. We saw purple beam, then he fell down, then immediately he's on the CGI dragon. Did she fuck up there? I'm not sure. I feel like her jump. Maybe I'm understanding this wrong. Maybe that was an art gun. Was that a different monster trying to mouth to mouth? Oh my, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh. you remember when Shea and Hajime made out? Oh, what is this? Angle camera bat. Oh, what? I thought that was something else rising from above. <gasps> Why is she moving her legs like that? Anyways, I think I misunderstood how the sequence of events happened with the purple beam shooting and Shea jumping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, I thought okay, okay, okay. I'm even more wrong. I thought Shimuzu got on the dragon to run away. No, 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 no. That was someone else taking care of business, killing a traitor kind of deal. Let him die, teacher. And you were there, and look what happened. He tried to kill you. As soon as you give him an antidote, he's gonna try to kill you again. He's just gonna lie. He's just gonna fucking lie to him. Aw, oh, dude. It's a little fucking rat. Kill him. Kill him right now. Come on. Show him the cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Fuck him. Did he just end Shimuzu? Those better not be healing bullets, bro. They better not be healing bullets. He's dead, right? He's dead, right? Good. No. This needed to happen. Too naive. The teacher needs to understand this. The teacher and Hajime actually are polar opposites in terms of how they handle business. I'm just trying to realize. Now she needs to learn this, man. Kind of sucks that, you know, she has to feel this. But at the same time, she doesn't learn this. She's going to pay for it in the future. Oh, fuck that. We, can't, we showed a mercy then. What do you mean? You wanted to suffer with the poison for minutes? No, no, no. We showed a mercy there. Is this really fine? Her just sticking around back here? I thought she has a target on her back. Oh! It was Hajime taking the blood off of her hand. I didn't even realize. I was too caught up in vengeance. I was too caught up in petty revenge. Oh. Oh, shit. Hajime is actually such a nice guy. For ending him. But is the teacher gonna be okay? My interpretation of why the demons think that the teacher, the goddess of plenty, is more of a hassle than the heroes is because Hashimi told her the truth. She knows the truth about the mavericks, the liberators, the labyrinth, 
how it got a heat and every all, all of that shit, right? I thought that because the rumor spread, the demons who are backed by the church are now trying to kill the teacher. Maybe that wasn't the case at all. Maybe I'm cooking too hard and therefore leaving right now is perfectly fine. I thought that this kind of made a reason for us to keep teacher around so that, you know, we're just kind of like acting as a bodyguard to a certain point. But I guess that's not really the case. Now, in terms of best girl so far, I still think it's Shea, but Tio is still new. We got a letter time to cook and UA is great. I, I know UA is great. It's just I have a hard time putting a lolly in best girl category when you know you know anyways if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care